So this is a dresser, and that's an ironing board. So last time with the dresser, we ended up making these frames. This is the support that the drawers will actually be sitting on. And now I need to bring them down to their final thickness. I made them a little bit fat so that I could smooth out all the joints and make everything really nice and clean. Uh, slowly went through the process of shaving them down to thickness as well as smoothing out the joints and making sure that everything is nice and uh, flat so that the drawers will slide nicely along them. This was a little bit tricky as the joints um, the grain turns 90 degrees suddenly, and so you have to kind of skew the plane so that it works bothly, uh, both directions of the grain. Uh, fairly easy, but takes a little bit of uh, work to get right. All of the through tenons that stuck out on the ends needed to be trimmed flush, so I just used a block plane here to uh, clean them up and give a nice smooth edge on the end. Same thing with the drawer dividers, the pieces that go vertical in between the drawers they were a little bit more tricky because they were smaller, but uh, this also made it a little easier to clamp in the tail vise. Uh, fairly straightforward, but still fun. Now I need to put some dados into the legs to put in these uh, drawer supports. I mark out on one leg exactly where those marks need to be and then transfer those marks to all the same legs so that they are all matching. Uh, then I can actually put out the exact uh, drawer shelf and mark it out each of the drawer shelves are slightly different and so I use each one to make its actual markings. Once those marks have been put on the legs I can come in with a square and make them a little deeper, easier to read and create an actual knife wall that I can use for a saw. Then it's onto the saw. Uh, these dados are cut into the leg about a quarter inch. So it's a fairly easy process to cut the uh, walls and then come in with a chisel and a router plane and clean them out. Now the top one isn't just a dado, it's actually going to be a sliding dovetail. And so I actually have this uh, dovetail plane that I picked up a while ago that allows me to cut the dovetail in the ends of the uh, dresser shelves. And then I can use that same dovetail plane to uh, use the angle to cut in the dovetailed dado into the leg. I just took the iron out and it made a nice uh, bed for the solder right in. Then just like with the other dados, I come in with a chisel and uh, router plane and clean them out. The router plane is a little bit more difficult as the top is thinner, uh, but it works fairly well and it allows me to kind of dig into the corner of the dovetail a little easier. And this is actually a lot of fun. Now I can actually uh, test them and see how well they slide in. And I was uh, very pleased, they, they came out fairly well. Now it's, start, it's time to do the actual glue up on the leg assemblies and I do a final smoothing, taking off a very, very thin amount on all surfaces, bringing them all flat, taking out any dings and marks and pencil shavings that I may have put into it and getting them all ready for the, uh, the final glue up. And it's a, a fairly easy process on these legs, they're just through tenons. Uh, everything is suspended. The middle panels are not glued in, they are floating. Uh, so that any expansion and contraction can uh, work easily in them. The only thing that's glued are the tenons into the ends. Now the two main stretchers that go across the bottom, I need to put a groove in them uh, so that I can put the drawer supports between those two main stretchers. Rather than putting through tenons on these, I decided to go with a groove and uh, put the tenons into the groove. This is one of those uh, drawer supports that go between the two uh, bottom stretchers. And I'm just cutting a small tin in here that fits into that groove. Makes it a little easier for installation. And I wanted to play with the, uh, the joinery a little bit and see how it goes. So far, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with how, uh, how well it uh, went. After getting all of these uh, drawer shelves uh, all set and ready to go, I needed to attach the verticals. And these are just dadoed into the drawer shelves a sixteenth of an inch, very, very little amount. So I mark them all out so that they all have a slightly different width and I use the actual item to mark it out. And then I just come in with a router plane and take out that sixteenth of an inch. Um, I do very little work with the actual chisel. The router plane can uh, take that out fairly easily as long as I'm careful and not overexerting it. Then I can uh, test the fit of the drawer dividers into the shelves. And very pleased with how they just kind of sit in there. 
more or less a friction fit, but the glue for the ingrained ingrain should work well. Now on to one of the most hairy glue ups I have ever done. Um, I, I really didn't plan this out very well and I should have done a lot more. I put the stretchers in, put the supports between the stretchers, and then put in the main drawer supports and glue that all up. Uh, it took longer than it should have and some of the glue was already starting to set up so I'm kind of at a hurried frantic pace <laughs> clamping it all up and I didn't have uh, long enough clamps for the top and so I just hooked together a couple of my bar clamps. But in the end it came out and I was very pleased with how it uh, finished up. Once it glued up the next day then I could slide in that uh, sliding dovetail piece which is actually the top uh, drawer support and it goes in um, surprisingly well. This was a far easier glue up than the other ones were. Then the drawer dividers can then be slid in in between them. Now all the through tenons, I waited until they were in to cut them all flush so that they'd all be sticking out the exact same amount. I just used a piece of stock the uh, thickness I wanted and then used a flush cut saw on that piece of stock. Then I can come in with a chisel and shape all of the tenons down to the uh, the same kind of cambered edge that I'm looking for. This is, for me, a very, very fun part of the process. It takes a bit of time and it's slow going, but it is very, very rewarding when you get that really nice finished surface on all of these tenons. And there are a lot of tenons on this that need to be cleaned up. It took a bit longer than I was anticipating, but uh, so do most things on most projects. Thankfully though, this was um, very, very rewarding to step back and see them all chamfered uh, and, and looking the way I want them to. After that, I can put it into its resting place and it's going to be sitting over here uh, as I build the, drill, the drawers for it. I still have to make the, the top frame that the uh, uh, of the carcass that the top will actually be attached to, uh, but that I'm, I'm waiting on until I get a few other measurements from other things I need to do. But this piece is actually about 150 pounds and uh, extremely solid. So there's the dresser so far. Um, I have to say I am actually kind of surprised at how well it's coming together. I have a lot more work to do on it, but uh, it's it's coming together. And one of the reasons why it's kind of surprising me is I'm doing um, a lot of things on here for the very first time, like uh, the sliding dovetails in the half lap joint. Um, that's a little different for me. Um, doing so many through tenons, uh, it's kind of an experiment with the the style and what I'm looking for. So it's just a a little bit different way of uh, doing things. But so far, it's working pretty well. Uh, the very next thing I have to do is I have to build a uh, top to the actual carcass. I wanted to wait on that until I had other things in here to make sure that it was fit and sized, and it wasn't just something I was measuring. So that I should be able to have uh, by the next video I have here, and I might even have the selection for all the drawers. The drawers are going to be all solid white oak. Um, there isn't going to be a secondary wood on them, so they're going to have a solid white oak bottom, and everything on them is... Uh, going to be heavy and yeah so it's coming along and I hope you like this process it has been a pleasure for me to put together and I'm looking forward to uh, the next few steps on this if uh, you like the video please hit like and think about subscribing I do want to say thank you to the patrons on patreon um, you guys have really encouraged me and uh, every time I have a question or need help with something you're there to support me and it helped all along the way so thank you for that you're really the reason why this uh, channel is up and running so uh, if you like this video you might like one of these others, and until next time, have a wonderful day.